Hello, Michael Talba Kelly here. Thank you for joining me this morning. It's a gorgeous day somehow in the middle of winter here in Vancouver and the, the sun's come out. We can see the mountains and the ocean and I've got this fire here. The, the, the Christmas decorations are up, candles, presents under the tree. I'm feeling incredibly blessed and I wanted to share with you how it is that we can gift wrap our presents. Not just the literal presence, but the gift wrapping of who we are. There's no greater gift. It's what matters most. If you love somebody, you want to give this gift this Christmas. And you want to be, you want to, you know, to be reminded, I'm going to suggest that, uh, of how you do that. There's three things I want to tell you about of, of how it is that you can do that. So whether you are, you know, on the one hand, feeling incredibly blessed like I am for an incredible year and health and my kids and going up snowboarding and in Nelson with three out of my five brothers and sisters. I'm so excited, the nieces and nephews and the stories and whatnot, and we're keeping present presence, literal presence to a minimum and bringing our presence together as a, as a maximum, if you will. And, or you're at the other end of the continuum where you're actually not feeling all that you're not feeling that holiday spirit. You're actually feeling depressed. You're actually overwhelmed at this time. It's never been good. There was always, you know, too much alcoholism and too much partying and, and then abuse and self-harm started. And it's just been a negative cycle since the beginning. And whether you are here or here, I want you to remember that this is the most important thing that you can give this Christmas. And so how do we wrap that up? Well, I want to start with simple story of, you know, one year, I didn't have a lot of means at the time. And I had a, my girlfriend and I, we decided we were going to make wreaths. And we, we lived on this beautiful place on Bowen Island on the ocean. And we had lots of cedar and holly around us. And so we made wreaths and we added some shells. You know, we did a very kind of hippie kind of thing and walked downtown with them. And everybody said, I want one, I want one. And we put together enough to go back to the fam my family, my brothers and sisters in Toronto, we weren't going to go back and at the last minute decided, okay, we need to go back, but we don't have any money, so how do we do this? So we got very inventive, and, and I want to invite you to be very inventive this holiday season of how it is that you can really bring this warmth, this, you know, generate this warmth within yourself um, and and share that and not get on decide there's no no way you're getting on a mat with anyone nobody's going to rob you of your peace and your presence and your love this is a conspiracy of love we don't need to contribute to the woes to the suffering these people have not had the good fortune for whatever reason we're not in the business of judging them we're in the business of just bringing it all day long and so we don't want to be jumping on the mat. It's a decision. That's the first thing you want, to, you want to get out of this, of how it is that you can gift wrap your presence, is it's a mindset. You put that hat on. You decide, no way, nobody's... I'm not getting on the mat with Uncle Bill. Uncle Bill is not in his storytelling, the same old story, same old drinking, same old slurring, same old thing at the end of the night he passed. I'm not going to let that rob me of my presence. In fact, I'm going to bring even more presents to him. That's your challenge. Okay, so mindset is number one. Number two is you need to decide, I need to take care of myself. If I'm not feeling that warmth inside of me, I need to go out and take care of, okay, I need to run and yoga and meditation. If you're somebody like me or you do, the, you do, you do hockey or you, you go for walks or you crochet, whatever it is that allows you to feel that presence and have this cultivated in your mind, body, and soul system, do it. Simply, you're number one. If you make yourself number one, you make everybody else number one because your cup is filled up and it's spilling over and now you can bring it to other people, right? People know how to do this. You know how to do this. I know how to do this. The third thing that we know how to do, there's a mindset, there's making yourself number one, your self-care number one. So you can make other people number one because we're all number one. And then the third thing is that we can do is just to bring this warm eyes. This, this warmth that is here on the outside is cooking inside of us. It never goes out until, of course, we die. And then if you've been around a dead body before, you know that that has definitely gone out. There's a coldness. That, so whether you are feeling this or you are feeling very abundant, that fire is going. 
If you're alive, you're still breathing, it's still going. And you are this incredible gift that you want to bring. I'm standing with my legs more so I can get into the into the view. Yeah, but 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 you want to, but it also helps me get into my strength and my my wholeness and the warmth and the fire and the presence inside of me. You want to bring this all day long. You need to bring it, you need to sip on it all day long. You need to generate it, you need to activate it, mobilize it. You are the one that can activate and mobilize and live this. Whether you've been to the gym or not, whether you're, you know, you can decide just like that. There's a great story of, you know, the waiter that he accidentally trips up the plate and it goes all over the customer, gets all upset, screams and yells, the maitre d' comes over to waiter leaves and he says, well, like, I'm so sorry, let me get this cleaned up for you. I have, you know, meals are covered and we'll get yourself your clothing cleaned up. I'm so sorry. And this guy's still screaming, making a, making a scene and all the rest of it. And the maitre d' says, you know, I you know, just again apologize. Johnny's not been himself. He's, he lost his wife to cancer last night. Wow. This guy's just feeling right beside himself, and he can't do enough now to make up for it, to try to be compassionate or, you know, fiercely gentle or sort of acknowledge his, his mistake. And he's feeling bad about himself, but, you know, so you don't want to be that guy. You know, you don't, you, you don't know the circumstances of people where they are and why they're on the street or why they're depressed or why they're not able to make it in your eyes. You don't need to judge them. No, you need to bring this warmth. You need to bring this warmth to everybody in your village. The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, but especially Uncle Bill. Don't get on the mat with Uncle Bill. Don't get on the mat with anybody over turkey that's too dry or you know, shortbread that's not cooked. The potatoes are burnt. I, stuff spilling on the floor, you know, logs rolling out and burning car. It's not the, honestly, it's not the end of the world. So I'm teaching you or reminding you or sharing with you some things that you already know. I just wanted to say to you that there really is no other choice this, this, this holiday season. It doesn't matter your faith. It doesn't matter your, your creed. It doesn't matter your country. It doesn't matter your orientation, your sexual orientation, or whether you're single, whether you're a couple, whether you're in a village or you're on your own. Everybody can start to warm their eyes up and bring this warmth and bring this incredible presence like the maitre d' and all of a sudden that guy did, just to the, the guy you know, who got his lap covered in his meatloaf or whatever it was. He shifted it just like that. You can shift it just like that for Uncle Bill, for any scenario, if you decide. So you decide, you have a mindset of deciding that this is the way it is. Second thing is you're taking care of yourself. The third thing is you're starting to see things for what they are. You're not looking for weapons of mass destruction and judging. You are seeing life as it is unfolding. It, you can expect the expected. You know what's going to happen. The same stories, the same rituals, the same goddamn crap that's going to go on. Okay, expect it, but why let it rob you of your peace? So here's my challenge to you. I really want you to show up and really deliver a much deeper and richer presence. And I need you to wrap it all up and I need you to, to bring it. And I know you can do it. You need to finish this year strong, with strength. You need to finish this year with a lot of, a lot of uh, feelings of, uh, of health and vitality. You want to feel, finish this, this year with a lot of, a lot of presence. And I, and I hope this has been useful for you. And if it has, I want you to I want you to consider, I want to invite you into um, listening to a second video that I have about how it is that we can bring new, no-fail New Year's resolutions into the new year. Your challenge is to bring all of you now so that by the new year comes, you can then bring these no-fail New Year's resolutions into your, into your 2016. And if you'd like that, if that makes sense to you, if you've enjoyed this video, then I really want you to just sign your name, put your name and your email address below this and, and I, will, I will send that to you. It's free, no obligation, and it's my way of saying thank you so much if you've been in my life a long time, a short time. If you're getting this, I 
really just hope the best for you and your family um, this holiday season and wishing you deep presence. Bye for now.